Wagwan J Scott, it's your boy J and welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by and if you are already a subscriber, welcome back. Alright guys, watch now. Today, I'm going to be taking you guys on a little walk with me. Hmm. We're going to be walking in the Rudolph Elder Park in Marant Bay. And I'm going to show you guys a little bit of the preparation that they are putting together for the Christmas tree lighting. Or should I say the annual Christmas tree lighting that they keep in here every year. So the Christmas tree lighting is a big event. They do fireworks, they do all sorts of things. And guys, you have to stay tuned to the channel because I'm going to be here and I'm going to be showing you that as well. But today I'm going to be showing you just some of the preparations that are being put in place for that. If you want to see that, let's go on the other side. Let's go! Yeah man, so guys we're in the park and as soon as we reach into the park, guess who we run into? Big conversation are going over here, so. but look, who, look who over here so guys. Jess, you don't look at who that? I edit that video. You don't know who that? I need one of them there, I like that strap there, bossy. No, a big soup for that, you know. Bossy, that strap there, bossy, yo. Yeah. I love it, I love it. Right yeah, by your chest. Which is right. Yeah, you, suppose, you can't bring it up all further up now your face. Man, you can't go up. Okay, can't go up, man. Okay, mad thing, man. No. So, <laughs> yeah, man, we there, we there, cause we don't make them know say the tree lighting never go on. So, show them, show them, show them right around the place, man. See so, yeah, them, man. We are show them about the place, cause yeah. them things are not now going to Saint Thomas, but we are show them say Saint Thomas is where it's at. Yeah. All right. So, guys, as you can see, the public service um, vehicle just passing. They are giving electricity to the beautiful tree that you see right there. I'm gonna bring you guys a little bit closer, as close as I can, I can be allowed to get. So you can actually see what is going on. Yeah man, preparations are on the way. And as your eyes can see guys, it is looking beautiful, don't it? Yeah man. So, even the water fountain guys, every year what they always do, there's a water fountain up there, they always put lights to it as well guys. And I can tell you, this year is no less beautiful. It is going to be amazing. Once all the preparation is done, I can tell you. I want to walk you guys to the water fountain area real quick. You guys can see also they are, they are cutting the grass and everything. So, you know, tree lighting is near. Every year it's a big thing. It's a big old thing every year, guys, for, you know, families to just come together and families to just come together and just enjoy a session like the tree lighting and they bring out the children and everything and have some fun with the kids so guys as it relates to the water fountain as it relates to the water fountain guys this is as far as I'm allowed to get right now considering the fact that they are washing the water fountain and cleaning it out so that um, they can paint up and put lights towards it, to, to it and you know just get it be looking nice and pretty and, and thing and thing another thing that I always like to see them do every year is all the trees get covered with 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 with, with um, Christmas lights and please guys excuse the, the background noise and the, the the noise in the background they're actually cutting the grass as said before so you guys can actually um, hear a lot of noise in the background. But as I was saying to you before, the trees, the coconut trees and so on, everything always get lights. They make sure that they put on pepper lights and everything on these trees. And believe me guys, once it is done, exceptionally beautiful. Alright guys, so as you can see, 
the electricians are putting in, put on, putting on the lights. People always say Santa Mas is this or Santa Mas is that. When we have um, things like this in the park, how does it make you feel as an individual? It makes me feel excited. Excited? Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. Excited. Tomorrow when the children come out and they are having fun, mm -hmm. I think it will be even greater excitement for them and for the all of us who work at the council. Awesome. So you're saying that the tree lighting is actually tomorrow? Yes, it is tomorrow. We All have right. Christmas street in the morning. The Christmas street in the morning. And the, um, after that, we have the tree lighting at six. Mm. And after that, we have a concert. All right. Then that will be followed by the fireworks. All right. So you here, guys. Big day tomorrow. One, we start off the day with a fun day for the children. Yeah. After we start, that starts at 11, goes up until 4. That starts from 11 until 4. After that, then we're going to have the tree lighting, the tree lighting at 6, at 6 p.m. You hear that? 6 p.m. Mm -hmm. And then after the tree lighting, there's a big old concert, guys. Right. And I can tell you, anytime you hear about concerts in St. Thomas, ever nice. And after that, guys, we are going to be having fireworks. So we're going hard this year, we're going good this year, we're going strong this year. And it's gonna be amazing. What's your name? I didn't ask you for you. Claudia Carter, I'm the CEO for the Minnesota. Nice to meet you, Miss Carter. And thank you so much for talking with me. Alright? God bless you. Bless you too. <laughs> Again, we want to pick up the parish council team. I've yes, man. The mayor yes. For making this possible. Yes. Kids usually have to travel to Kingston to see fireworks. Some of them couldn't even don't know fireworks. That is true. And the parish council collaborate with the mayor, make this possible and we appreciate everything that they are doing for the kids in the parish yeah, also the, the, the people them. Yes. So send them as up. And we appreciate that oh, appreciate yes, everything. Good look the parish, that is yeah. a good look for the parish. Yes. Right? That is it. So and that's how it is. Uh, this thing it gives a sense of hope. It gives a sense of hope for me personally because you know, when you see the beauty that, that this thing really gives off, particularly when the lights are on, guys, believe me, it is a lot to just feel comfortable about. And as I just did an interview with Miss Carter, you would have heard that tomorrow is even going to be a bigger day than today. Today is only the preparation, but tomorrow is going to be a bigger day. Now guys, I'm going to be getting an exclusive interview and I'm going to be speaking with your worship, the mayor. <laughs> uh, and here Pink was a must. And what I've done is to set a benchmark for any other mayor to come after me. The people who hold them for a certain level and better level of representation will come forward. Tomorrow, we will have our annual fireworks. Today is the final day of preparation. That's why I'm on the ground here. Working hard. Trying to ensure that everything comes together. So that tomorrow, for the big show, you know, it will be beautiful. It will be so cool. Our people will benefit from it in terms of Conversing, you know, and trust for that, you know, improve more social life because here in Saint Thomas, not much is going on. Right. So, I believe as mayor, it's my job to ensure that something goes on in the world. That's why you see the grand market. You know, we normally have a very big grand market, the park full of vendors and so forth. And they normally pay so much money to spend in the park. This year, I ensure that they will be nothing at all. It will be totally free. So people can come out and be creative and make some money so that they can send their kids back to school who need to go to university. University tuition can be paid and we can have a better life. It's true for standard of living. So, Mr. Mayor, as it relates to the parish, what do you think something like this is doing for the moral of the people who are actually from St. Thomas? I'm going to tell you exactly what it is. 
it is a story room. And all people are keep the art alive. That's true. Last year, after we have the firework, a JP came up to me one year. I was walking to the town, apparently here. And she said to me, and this lady is about maybe upward in her 60s. And she said to me, Mayor, you know what you have done for the parish? And I really could answer the question in terms of, I know I've done something good. I know I've done a lot of good. But I couldn't find a specific word that this lady wants. And to say to me, you have restored hope, you have given the parish hope. And I will never forget that moment. I will never forget that moment. Because at that time, I realized what I mean to the people of St. Thomas and what I'm doing. Oh, they appreciate it. And I must say thank you again to all people for giving me the opportunity to serve. Alright, I want to say I thank you all the time for the time that you share such a great and important information. For the local media knowing all that I always make myself accessible and available to the people. So Kai Kai is important to communicate to the people. I see it So these local platforms, I always use them to communicate to my people. And, and whenever you want, whether they have this or anywhere on the street, I'm always available for my people. We appreciate it. Thank you very much for having me. Alright, so I have, I have another question that I'd love to ask you. Yes. Um, so, Mr. Mayor, uh, in regards to for the parish of St. Thomas, what are some of the other things that we can look forward to coming from a stalwart like you based on the things that we have been seeing so far? Well, coming up shortly, for our New Year's, we're going to have the unveiling of our township clock, which will be right in front of the Morant Bay market. So we are, we're going to put up a very huge double side digital clock because, you know, we're moving forward and so we yeah, can't go analog. Yeah, no. So we are going digital. Yes. And you know why it, it, it's so much an agenda item of mine? I grew up in this parish. And I always say, I always hear people say, because we don't have a clock, we left behind. True, well, true. it's my job to bring St. Thomas to the forefront that is it. of national attention. And that's why I'm doing these things. So you notice also our town is cleaner these days. That our is town it. is more organized. Yes. We do a lot of work on the draining system that's in the town. True, that's why when true. we have all these big rains the other day, the township itself did a flood yes. because I ensure all the underground drains that haven't been cleaned, some of them for 20 years, I ensure that those drains are clean. But you know, there's all the grills in the road, we repair them. Send them as a high water table, I mean, Mark Bay as a high water table. Yeah. We always have wastewater in our drain. I ensure that we repair all the curve and channels so that the water can freely run. So we don't have stagnant water and stench yeah. around the town. So we're doing a lot of things. We have done so much work on the market. Before I become mayor, the entire back of the market was uncovered. True, People true. used to just around here like they're animals in the mm, sun, in true. the rain, whatever. Reality, reality, you know, reality. the environment yeah, producer that, that, that particular day, they will have to face it. I put covering around the back of the market. If you look um, where you have the meat, uh, the meat market, right. I totally renovate yeah, that yeah. era. No, we have a proper, we have we no problem with the health department in terms of the meat market, the front of the market. Water was just pouring like that. We fixed that area as well. And many other, the list goes on and on and yeah, on and on. One thing I would um, ask of you, I know you're doing your best, and I don't want people to feel no way I'm putting this forward to you, but you know, I know that you is the right person to hear this because you can render assistance. So, um, you see, right round by the, the taxi stand round, you know, if I even pay have a little cover in it. No, I'm going to say something know. to you. We have a covering round here, but the covering is inside oh. of the transportation centre. Oh. No, the, 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 the taxi operators around here, they just don't want to stick to the order, oh. so they're out of the front. But if you go inside 
the, 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 the transportation center, there mm. is covering. Right. And if they go inside and we want and they want it to be extended, we are willing to do so. Yeah, man, but yeah. they choose to come out, everybody want to come out, out and don't want to stay. No, we can't build one outside of the transportation. Mm -hmm. I mean, we ourselves would be breaking the law. Okay. So I'm just saying yeah, that everyone cooperate. Yeah. We can have an excellent township. Right. If you just turn your, your camera to your right, that is my left, you look about. We have renovated the kids' area That's of the park. Just look at it. Look how beautiful it looks. Just yes, look at the painting on the wall. And we're going to continue with that as well. So we really change a lot of things in the township. And we want to ensure that the park will become a big deal. Now that you have a busy schedule to upkeep. So, First of all, I want to point out to you that I appreciate the fact that most of the things I see you putting in place is non-political. Now, a lot, of, a, lot of, a lot of problems that we have in St. Thomas is that it is always political, it's one-sided. Persons are saying, it's my party to this and my party to that. But what I want to, to, to say to you is, Mr. Mayor, a lot of the things that I see putting in place, it is beneficial to everybody and not just one, one side of the aisle, right? Now, I had asked you in regards to uh, the future plans for St. Thomas. Now, one main issue that we have is job migration. A lot of persons are leaving the parish to go into Kingston and other parishes for work. Uh, so, as a mayor, and I know that this is not only left into your hands, Mr. Mayor, but I would love to ask you, are there any plans uh, in the near future uh, in regards to job creation and mobility in St. Thomas? And, and uh, I, I'm happy that you asked the question. I know I may have to go a little bit political <laughs> because, you know, there's a lot of room in the name. But that's the reason why it's my intention to run for a member of parliament. I believe that as member of parliament, I can change the working environment in the parish. Because a lot of policies, the macro policies, are made in Kingston at Garden House. So we are mostly dealing with the local policy. But I just want to say there are so much things that we can do that can change the lives of the people of Saint Thomas. That can change the working situation of the people of Saint Thomas. But we need to facilitate in order to grow these industries. We have to create industries. I believe that when we look at like food processing, we can really, you know, go big. I want to call it agro-processing. We are agro-processing cancer. Just look how much food waste in per Saint year. Thomas. Here in St. Thomas. No, I have a plan to really turn all of that into value-added products. Process them so they have longer shelf life. Send them abroad. At the moment, I employ over 100 people doing agro processing and agriculture. So I have a formula for success. So I know exactly what to do, how to do to make St. Thomas a better place. I also know that when I implement my big idea, Shop St. Thomas, Shop St. Thomas will be an online platform. Where anywhere around the world you are, and you want to buy something, you can go on it, and our people here in St. Thomas will have their goods advertised on this platform. On this platform, they are able to make transaction and, and, and negotiate and get deals done. All right. Also, you as a manufacturer, as a processor, or a trade man, you'll be able to advertise your product on this platform so that buyers around the world will be able to see it and to make the use of it. So I have plans to really change um, um, St. Thomas. If you look at our mining, we have the best, we have the most aggregate in the parish. And look at how it's done. People just doing these things in an uh, um, environment and friendly way. And not to interrupt Mr. Mayor, but it is unfortunate that we have the most aggregate or the one of the best quality aggregates in the, the entire part, um, country of Jamaica and we have some of the poorest roads. <laughs> yes, but I'm going to tell you why we have some of the poorest roads because we don't benefit from the aggregates that we have here. My sentiment is exactly. There's one um, scale between here and St. Andrew and the scale is in St. Andrew. At the same time, 
the aggregate, it's our roads that the aggregate destroyed. These heavy trucks um, destroyed. We want to ensure that we have a scale here in Centre, man. That means we can make some of the money so that we can fix our roads. You understand? We supply Kingston with water. Thousands, if not millions of gallons per day. But at the same time, 80% of the parish don't have consistent running water. We want to change it. We need to put tariffs and those water going to Kingston and use that money to build up our water infrastructure in the parish so that our people can have a better quality of life. So I'm just saying, we have a lot of big plans and we know we can execute them. We know um, mining, we can do it in a more environmentally friendly way. We know we can do it in a more efficient way. The way of mining is doing now, but we will not make it any real money. We need to partner with international com um, um, companies, partner with them and so that we can mine in a more efficient way that can be more profitable if there's two million tons of aggregate that come out of the river we need to get two million tons of sand out of it because yeah. we have it created. no it's doing now maybe only 10 percent of what coming out the river is actually turning into sand because everybody's sieving and not grinding so we just need to get the things done we know what needed to be done we are born we're born here live here school here we know what affects centre mass and we know what centre mass need. We have faced the suffering just like anyone else in this parish. And we have come to the time now in life that we believe we can lead this parish for a brighter future and a better future. All right, so are there any final thoughts that you'd like to share? Just so I final just thoughts to wrap say, up? Finally, I want every resident to come out tomorrow. It's a family event. We have some, uh, we have in the day a kids street we will be feeding the kids all day giving some toys as well then after that we'll go into our tree lighting our christmas tree lightning ceremony and right after that we will go straight into our concert our concert of good artists we have um some gospel band will be will be performing followed by we have ruption we have prophecy we have terry linen we have chuck fender it's a big family show. And then at 9.30, the fireworks will go on. It will be beautiful here in Marant Bay. I was telling you guys before about the, the, the road reconstruction that is taking place in the park for tomorrow. Guys, I'm out here and I'm showing you some of the things that are taking place right here, you see? I mentioned that there was new sand that was laid, new gravel, and this is to alleviate the whole water issue. Yeah man, so we're out here so that persons can get a good and comfortable place to walk. As you heard, wonderful interview by His Worship the Mayor, Mr. Um, Williams. Uh, he gave us some rich insight in regards to some of the plans that are in place afoot for the parish of St. Thomas. Some of the plans that are already in place and some plans that are going to be taking place in the near future. As we were told, we are going to be getting a tone clock. Every parish where you go, you can find a, 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 a tone clock. We are getting a digital clock in St. Thomas. That's coming from the, the, the work of the mayor here in the parish. Uh, just be reminded as well, guys, come out early tomorrow. Yeah, man, I know some of you have to go to church tomorrow. But come out early. There's going to be a fun day all day for the kids in the morning, going to the afternoon. 
when it reaches down to the afternoon at 6 o'clock as we were told there's going to be a tree lighting ceremony that happened last year it was a wonderful um, setting it's gonna happen this year again also be reminded once again guys that they're going to be having the fireworks after the major concert so holy for big artists from St. Thomas, they're going to be on there and they're going to be performing live band and all right wonderful MCs as well and it's going to be extraordinary and after that guys fireworks to the close of the evening so make sure that your family your friends your uncle your auntie even your neighbor even if you have an enemy and you want to make peace on that day invite them over so that they can come tomorrow afternoon tomorrow evening tomorrow morning and enjoy the entire proceedings and as we always say on this channel jay says and we are out of here